We're at 3.4b. This is multiplying rational numbers with the same sign. We can multiply two rational numbers with the same sign with these rules. If both factors are positive, the product is positive. If both factors are negative, the product is positive. So when two factors have the same sign, the product is positive. Isn't that easy? The rules for the signs of products with the same sign are summarized in this chart. We're going to let P and Q be rational numbers. Here's the sign of factor P and the sign of factor Q, and this is going to be the sign of P times Q. If we've got a positive and a positive, then P times Q will be positive. If we have a negative and a negative, it will be positive. We can also use a number line to find the product of rational numbers with like signs. It's telling us to use a number line to multiply negative 4 times negative 1 and 5 tenths. So the first thing we do is we find the product of a positive 4 and a negative 1 and 5 tenths. We start at 0 and we move left 1 and a half units, 1 and 5 tenths units, four times. So do you see how this is a negative, but we're going to start by doing it with a positive 4 times a negative 1 and 5 tenths. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. We land at a negative 6. That's our result. Well, this shows that a positive 4 groups of negative 1 and 5 tenths equals a negative 6. So a negative 4 groups of negative 1 and 5 tenths must equal the opposite of negative 6. It must be a positive 6. So do you see how we did that? We started by multiplying the opposite as a positive. We saw that it gave us a negative 6. So when we go back to a negative 4, it should be the opposite of negative 6. It should be a positive 6. And we can check using the rules for multiplying rational numbers. Both factors are negative. The product will be positive. Let's try another one. It says use a number line to find negative 2 times negative 1 and 75 hundredths. So we first are going to find the product of a positive 2 times a negative 1 and 75 hundredths. We start at 0 and move left into the negatives 1.75. That's 1 and 3 fourths, isn't it? So there's our first arrow. We do it another time. We have a little fourth here. So Here's one whole, so that's one and one fourth, and then two more fourths makes one and three fourths. That's one and seventy five hundredths. That's our second arrow. Our result is right here in between negative three and negative four. It's negative three and five tenths. So if multiplying with a positive two results in a negative product, then multiplying a negative two will result in the opposite as a positive. 3 and 5 tenths. We have an even amount of negative factors, so the product is positive. When their signs are the same, when they have like signs, the product is positive. We can multiply the absolute value of the factors, then apply the rules for multiplying rational numbers to use the correct sign for the product. If we have a negative 5 times a negative 3 and 25 hundredths, we think, okay, well, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. It's 5 jumps away from 0. And the absolute value of negative 3 and 25 hundredths is 3 and 25 hundredths. It's 3 and 1 fourth jumps away from 0. We multiply their absolute values. 3.25 times 5, we get 16.25, 16 and 25 hundredths. Both have the same sign, so the product is positive we know the product is 16 and 25 hundredths. Let's try that again with a different one. We're going to use absolute values and the rules for multiplying rational numbers to solve it. We have a negative 4 times a negative 5 and 5 tenths. So we can just think of 4 times 5 and 5 tenths, or 5 and 5 tenths times 4, and just do that ignoring the signs. We get a 22. Remember when you're multiplying decimals, however many hops are in the problem, 
is how many hops are going to be in the answer. We have one decimal hop here, so there's going to be one decimal hop in the product. Now we look to see that both factors have the same sign, so the product is positive. We know we have a positive 22. Now take a look at these equations here. We have a negative 4 times a negative 5 and 5 tenths. Now we have a positive 4 times a positive 5 and 5 tenths. We have a positive times a negative and a negative times a positive. Look at the products. The products of their absolute values are the same. They're all 22. But when two factors have unlike signs, the product will be negative. Here they have negative, negative, so it's positive. Positive, positive, it's positive. As soon as we have two factors with unlike signs, the product is negative. So, one last time, the rules for multiplying two rational numbers, if they have the same sign, the product is positive. If they have different signs, the product is negative. So remember, this is for two rational numbers. Okay, we're finished with part B. We're going to move on to part C, multiplying more than two rational numbers. Very easy rule. If they have the same sign, the product's positive. If they have different signs, the product's negative. That's for two rational number factors. Have a really great day, and join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.